Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're ready to hear me say what well, literally well, everyone well, else is going to be saying because we oh, just got oh, update oh, patch notes as well as a video. And that is for version 33. That is going to be introducing the Ace Paragon, the map Covered Garden, as well as one that was believed, believed was called Haunted Manor. And, well, a few changes. Some patches for bugs, some balancing for towers, and some general things that just are going to be interesting. Some good, some I could say questionable. But let's get right into this. As you might have expected, new Halloween game icon, the new maps, Midnight Mansion is what it's called, I found it, and then Covered Garden by Super... Super So? Something like that. New Paragon is going to be the Goliath Doomship, which is going to be for the Monkey Ace. New Trump trophy store items, as in the Joan of Arc pet for the dragon. The uh, Monkey Ace gets a Dragonfly pet. And Co-op is going to get a Psy emote. But I think my favorite, the Banana Farmer, is getting a banana costume. So if you have ever wanted that Bloons Pop banana, now's your chance to all you who played Bloons Pop. I'm sorry for your loss. Banner winner is Engineer Foam and Grandmaster Ninja by Dread Lead and Lord Teddington, as well as new DDT skin for the Spider, which is going to haunt me in my dreams. I'm buying it. <laughs> new CT items that will be beneficial for you who like the cosmetics and have actually been keeping up with CT. I still think it needs some work, but it's great. New languages are getting added. One of them being Polish and one of them being Monklish? Now what's Monklish? I'm going to assume that this is kind of the uh, same deal like how Mojang has their different languages of like pirate and whatnot. This is just monkey language. Or I'm just really bad at knowing how the world works and I'm going to offend a lot of people. I'm sorry. <laughs> there is a more intuitive UI for the advanced search on team browsers. And Test Terracord are getting a number of changes that are just going to make things a little better. And something I want to talk about real quick, before I continue on with some of the rest of the patch notes, Paragons. You know them, you love them, they make the game fun and chaotic. So normally, you're going about your day, you're buying your Paragons in round 20 because boss balloon players are absolutely insane. You got all your Paragons. One, two... What's the third one? Ninja. Let's do Ninja. You're feeling good now, right? You got all these guys. You're ready for whatever the game throws at you. But you're like, hey, I have an extra 600,000. Let me just buy a Engineer Paragon to help it out. XXXL, Ultra Boost, Center Champion. Here's the thing, though game changes slash additions. Right in between all this, Paragon Tower Placement restricts to a maximum of three per game. If I'm understanding this properly, this means that you will no longer be able to get any more than three Paragons. While I do think it's important to balance Paragons for the sake of things like Boss Balloons, What's up? the fact that this could affect free play is a little... I wouldn't really call concerning, but I know it has been a topic of interest in my Discord server currently. Uh, there was a few people mentioning something that I had brought up, saying I don't think they should do this. Maybe if it's for boss balloons, I can understand three per boss balloon. But there's kind of the fun of free play being able to just get all five of these. I'm sure they probably have a good reason, but I don't know. This feels like this is going to do something that's going to have consequences they haven't thought of. Because these five Paragons on their own are already great. We're getting Ace, so we're going to have six. So you can only have half of them on the field at all times. But let's be honest. A lot of people do not like the Boomerang Paragon. It's underwhelming. It's just disappointing overall. So even if it came to a boss balloon and you restricted all but like the three worst of the Paragons... People aren't going to buy this still. Like, you might only have three, but people probably won't even buy this. They'll find alternatives. That, or, you know, just spam Moab Maulers. 
it's an interesting change to think on at first because I mean it would make sense limiting them but this is going to I think what this is going to do is make towers like boomerang paragon which are already underwhelming even less of anything people want to use just because there is no reason to use something that sucks so bad in comparison to the ever prominent apex plasma master or the engineer has been finding some abilities pretty much all of these do better so why is anyone going to want to touch the boomerang now it's not like they'll go to a free play now and say oh boy can't wait to make myself a boomerang paragon they have four other options and with the ace coming out it could be five depends on how good the ace is I think that this is a change that either needs to be not added or reverted pretty quickly, because this is not going to be something fun, I would think. And it seems that a few other people share my opinion on that. But, of course, that's all subject to change. Either way, moving on. Bug fixes and general changes. Those are all there. Ice Monkey had some bugs for Top Path being weird. And Middle Path. Blue Gunner had some weird color applications. <laughs> 025 Super Monkey didn't even properly gain Pyrrhus. Woohoo. Free play, though. This is interesting to so those of you who like playing into the later game, the free, free play rounds. Round 101 plus natural income is going from 2% to 5%, and after 121, it's going to be 2%. So you got 20 extra rounds of 3% more income. Next up, there's a whole bunch of balance changes. Nothing that I want to go like too in-depth on. There's a few interesting ones for sure, like Tax Zone is getting a buff and a nerf, it looks like. Overall, the tag is being changed up a little bit just for the better, I think. Uh, Sniper Monkey, Elite Sniper is getting a price increase because, you know, Elite Sniper <laughs> is too good. Monkey Buccaneer is only having the entirety of its thing changed. Every single path except for the top one is getting touched. So, there's that. Monkey Ace is getting a slight nerf, it looks like. From the Spectre, specifically. It's some buff, some nerf. The darts are going to have a weaker homing effect. The darts and bombs are going to have a weaker homing effect, and the bombs are going to be one damage weaker, but darts are going to be one stronger. But they also get a bonus ceramic damage now, so that'll be interesting. That might be something that comes into play later. A whole bunch of changes to the Mortar Monkey that I am not going to go list out, because this will be just beyond confusing. Wall of Fire is once again being nerfed, because it's too good. And I don't think it's going to be able to be fixed that easily, NK. You can't defeat the Wall of Fire. <laughs> but, um, there are some few, there are a few small buffs to it. Uh, the 120 Wall of Fire is actually getting increased uptime. So, from 4.5 to 5.5, and you can also target it. So, um, does that mean that the Pierce nerfs are going to stop it? No, I think that the fact you just gave them targeting made them stronger, NK. You just nerfed the Pyrrhus by one-third, the, the time by several seconds, and so much more. But you just let them target their wall of fire? Guys! <laughs> why? Too strong? <laughs> Anyways, Anti-Balloon ability is going down from 45 seconds to 30 seconds, so that's going to be a lot better if you like the Anti-Balloon. Legend of the Night is going from 120 to 180, so 2 minutes to 3 minutes. Like something. Next up, we have a few small ones. Sticky Bomb and Flash Bomb are getting some changes. So Flash Bomb is actually a viable upgrade, and Sticky Bomb is the same amount, just relocated money. Alchemist, though. Transforming Tonic is getting a buff. Huzzah. And Acidic Mixture Dip is getting a nerf, which is fair, to be honest. Transforming Tonic is getting a buff to its Pierce, which is one of my biggest things about transformation abilities. And actually something I pointed out in one of my videos about the Super Monkey Fan Club. Transformation abilities that give you no Pyrrhus or very little value really suck. And the reason why is because they can't finish their job right. So then you just cry. 
Engineer is getting a slight change. Gwen is also getting a change. Azili, Adora, Brickle. A few changes just for the heroes. Contested Territory is getting changes to some of the relics, which is very, very much needed because, oh my goodness, NK. <laughs> Let me read some of these out because this is really needed for the relic changes for those of you who still play CT. Camo Trap, number provided is going from two to one. Camo Traps would last you until the 80s. It was dumb. And that is so you had to get no Camo Towers. It was so dumb. Flintip's damage over time is getting reduced from 2 to 2.5 seconds. So overall, it's going from 4 to 5. So this means it's just going to be a little weaker and take a little longer to take. So therefore, you're not going to get as much absurd amounts of damage. Camo Flogged is giving bonus camo damage from 1 to 3 extra damage. This is actually relevant! Because, geez, that relic sucked. <laughs> But getting that much extra damage is actually going to be good now. Hero boost. Increased XP is going from 10 to 15%. Very much needed. Going the distance is 10 to 20%. That one might be overkill. I'm ready to break crap with it. Bigger balloon sabotage. Whew. Okay. So this was actually a bug, but it was already resolved and it got pointed out. It was applying to boss balloons. And it made the bosses significantly weaker with big balloon sabotage. But that is a lot. Uh, this is going to be a pretty big update. And I would also just like to say as I'm reading through the Reddit post that NK put here, the first post up here with 719 upvotes is that the three max Paragons should be boss exclusive. So I feel like we can all come to an agreement that uh, NK, please let us break free play. It's all we're asking for. But yeah, we'll go ahead and wrap it up there. Thank you all for coming to this short patch note video. I hope you all enjoyed and are excited to see what happens when version 33 comes out. I would expect it to be out within likely a week or two, and I'll be trying to get to make content for it as soon as possible. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all next time.